Ridley Scott is back and he does a movie that's about crime, drugs, killing, and Mexican cartels. Are you interested? So The Counselor stars Michael Fassbender, Javier Bardem, Cameron Diaz, Penelope Cruz, and Brad Pitt, and it's directed by Ridley Scott. And Ridley Scott is the director of movies such as Alien, Blade Runner, Legend, Thelma and Luis, Gladiator, um, Kingdom of Heaven, Black Hawk Down, Prometheus. Uh, those are the ones I can name on top of my head right now. He's got tons and tons more, but those are the ones I, I <laughs> stick out to me, you know what I mean? Um, and the, mo the story of the movie is basically Michael Fassbender plays this lawyer called the Counselor. You don't know his name, you don't know his backstory, you just know his name's Counselor. And Michael Fassbender is in a little bit of money trouble, so he decides to delve into the world of Mexican cartels uh, along with uh, Javier Bardem, who plays this nightclub owner. And together they go into crime, they go into crime, they get in over their head, and pretty soon a lot of killings, a lot of death, and con and the consequences of their actions, basically. I was really looking forward to this movie because it's got such a great cast. I mean, Brad Pitt is one of my favorite actors. I really love Michael Fassbender. I love the, the, the entire cast of actors. And it's from Ridley Scott, one of my favorite directors. So, needless to say, I was, um, I was pretty anticipating this movie. And before I saw the movie, I'd read so many you know, mixed reviews. Some people were all like, oh, it's such a great, it's such a great movie. And other people were all like, it's a, it's, it's terrible. It's a mess. You know what I mean? And I gotta say, I think The Counselor is good, be it have a ton and ton of problems, but I still, still liked it. You know what I mean? What about the good in this movie? First of all, the acting. The acting in this movie is really, really good. I mean, you know, you have this incredible cast of actors and, you know, they give their all. They're so great in this movie. Like, Michael Fassbender, I thought was really good in the movie. Um, it's just, it's interesting seeing him be this, you know, pushover, you know what I mean? Because in the past roles, like Prometheus, you know, X-Men First Class, um, whatever, he always just plays these really sort of, you know, smooth, suave, don't take no for an answer type of guys. And in this movie, he plays someone who, um, who who's a pushover, who just follow, who just follows the lead. And it's interesting seeing him play that. And he does a really, really, uh, really good job. The you know the rest of the cast, like you know Cameron Diaz, Penelope Cruz, they're fine. They work for the movie. Um, but the two standouts, in my opinion, were Javier Bardem and Brad Pitt. The uh, they they bring so much life to this movie and. Just the things they say and things they do, it's it's pretty funny and it's just it, it's pretty interesting. Especially um, Javi Bardem, who's like rocking the Goku haircut, you know what I mean? He has hair all crazy like that. And Brad Pitt's all, you know, dressing up like a cowboy and so forth. He's really cool. Just like, those two actors, in my opinion, are the big standouts. Like, I walked out of this movie saying to myself, oh yeah, Pitt and, uh, and, and Bardem, they're like the, they're, they're the show stealers, in my opinion, you know what I mean? Um, but aside from the acting, it's really well directed, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's from Ridley Scott, and Ridley Scott movies are very well directed. Um, the way the shots look, the, uh, the way, um, you know, certain, certain scenes are framed, the way things are edited, so forth, it's really cool. Especially the action scenes. The action scenes are pretty bloody, pretty intense in that classic, you know, Ridley Scott way. Uh, it, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean? One minor note here, uh, the score of the movie is pretty good. It's pretty sort of, you know, dark and ominous and sort of sets the tone for the movie, if you know what I mean. But now we get to, you know, some of the bad in this movie. And the main problem with this movie is that the script at times is very convoluted. It's really hard to follow. Like, at one point of the movie, I was like doing a total recap of what happened. And I was like, okay, so Michael Fassbender is being hunted because this guy's death related to Fassbender getting this guy out of jail. And so how did this happen? How did that happen? It was like, it was, it, it, it was pretty, it was pretty tough to follow. And it's, The Counselor is one of those cases where I guess if you really like this movie, you probably paid attention to it more than I did. Uh, cause it's, uh. It is one of those types of movies where you gotta really pay attention to get the full details and understand what's going on, you know what I mean? Um, so, my advice to you, if you really want to see the counselor, pay attention, just really like pay attention, invest your mind in 
watching this movie, you know what I mean? Um, but, um, but aside from that, there was, like, certain segments that I feel like were totally unneeded for the movie. Like, there's this sort of segment with John Leguizamo. And, I, and John Leguizamo, I, I don't like, but I don't hate. He's just, like, whatever to me. Um, but I kind of felt like he was kind of useless in this movie. Like, his segment didn't really feed into the whole plot. Like, the Brad Pitt scenes, the Michael Fassbender scenes, the Javier Bardem scenes, the Cameron Diaz scenes, Penelope Cruz scenes, they're all fine. They all fit into the movie perfectly. It's just, um, it's just some of the, some of the supporting sort of cast member scenes, um, sort of do or don't, if you know what I mean. Um, so there's that. And the ending of the movie. Now, a lot of people will criticize the ending, uh, first of all, because they say, oh, it's too grim. I don't mind that it's too grim, because if you think about it, many of Ridley Scott's movies are pretty grim as it is. I mean, shoot, if you look at Blade Runner, it's a pretty grim movie. Or if you look at the first Alien, it's a pretty grim movie. So, I, 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 didn't, I don't have a problem with the fact that it's grim. What I do have a problem with the fact is that it ends so abruptly. It's like the last scene in the movie, the last scene in the movie, like, is is this conversation and you feel like okay it's building up to something it's building up to like the final sort of like the final scene that you know bookends the movie you know what i mean and right after that conversation it just ends it was just like i was just like really that's that's how it ends really and i i kind of i kind of left the theater you know liking the movie but kind of in a state of confusion at the same time i don't know if that i don't know if that makes sense but that's kind of how i felt anyways but um but yeah that that's my thoughts so the counselor it's got good acting it's got good direction the script at times is pretty hard to follow and the ending is pretty abrupt but aside from that the movie i i, I personally like the movie and um i'm gonna give the counselor a B minus. I feel like it's something you can check out. It's like it, 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 it's not something you have to see right now. It's not something you've got to you've got to you will shit your pants if uh, if you can't if you don't see it. For me, it's just like ah, see it if you're see it if you're bored type of movies or if you or just wait until Thor and that's how I see it anyways. But so yeah, that's my thoughts on the counselor. What do you think about the counselor? Are you one of the people that really liked it or really hated it? It's a really div dividing movie as I've seen from. The other reviewers and other comments and so forth and what's your favorite and least favorite Ridley Scott movie my favorite Gladiator my least favorite Hannibal um <laughs> I I uh the, I haven't seen a good year yet so I can't say that but yeah those are my thoughts that's my thoughts on the on the counselor and yeah that's it